Well, <laughs> if you are Suella Braverman, uh, you probably have not been having the best of times. After all, remember, prior to the general election three or four weeks ago, there really was the sense of the conservative leadership contest, especially for the right, uh, of who their candidate was going to be, was that it was going to be this two-horse race between Suella Braverman and, of course, Kimi Badnock. And the idea, at least at the time, was that maybe the centrist candidates, like, again, at the time, Penny Morden, Tom Tugendhat, etc., might, might maybe be able to sneak in and maybe get the most of, most of them. There was talks, of course, about creating a unity candidate from the centrists. Um, but since the election and since her comment she made at the National Conservative Conference, Suella Braverman has had allies dropping like flies. She has lost almost all her support within her own party. And you cannot run for leadership unless you have that support. And there's now even talks for, well, quite a couple of weeks ago, really, this has been going on, that her leadership um, contest, that her old candidacy for it is completely dead on arrival. There's talks now that she may not even be able to get enough signatures to actually put her name in the hat to become a candidate. So Suella has have had a very, very bad time. And to be honest, it's deserved. <laughs> it's more than deserved. But just because she has now lost her, shall we say, place in the limelight, does not mean that this could be over. After all, we have talked before about the, the possibilities and even some of the rumours, and these now rumours are now building, that if she were to lose her leadership contest, that she may decide to defect to reform. And guess what? More and more rumours have come out very recently that because she has lost so much support, she is now considering defecting to reform. So, time will tell whether she actually will or not, but of course, She's come out very recently to deny that she's defecting to reform. I'm not going to defect to reform. Bear in mind, let's let's put in a, a phone call for a future video and go. Hey, yes, hello. This is this is past uh, past Bowler Hatman. Um, yes, has has Suella defected to reform? <laughs> I, I just, I'm just asking that question to future me. So we'll we'll put we'll put that question on on hold now for a future video. But I think the entire likelihood. She probably absolutely will <laughs> defect to reform. Um, there is no doubt in my mind she is going to defect. Um, that is an almost, I think at this moment, uh, cast iron fool's uh, errand to even bet against, to be honest. But we'll see what happens. Maybe she won't. Maybe she will stay in the Conservative Party. Who knows what plans she's got ahead. But uh, we're going to cover uh, this and, of course, the rumours going around, uh, how bad her sort of campaign is, how, how bad it is going to the point where there are now rumours she's, quote, defecting to reform. We'll see what happens in the next couple of weeks. But like I say, we're, we are expecting some point soon for the leadership rules to be announced. And once those announced, expect to see candidates start to throw their hats into the ring. And even, I think, even if she doesn't have a chance, I think she will still try. I, I really still think she will try. And as I've said before, who do you think is going to win? Um, I think it's Kimmy Badmark. I think this is her contest uh, to, to lose, to be honest. Um, and we'll see what happens. But, oh boy, she will. I really do think she will be the next leader at this point. Um you know, if, if we've talked about the polls on Conservative Home many times predicting who the future leader is going to be, Kimmy Badnock has been miles, miles ahead in all those polls. Um, but if they do pick her, uh, <laughs> the Conservatives are still not going to have a good time with her. I think they will 
once again, highly, highly regret choosing her. <laughs> but before we get uh, on to more talking about that, please, of course, remember, do remember to click on the like, the share button, and of course, down below, there are links to my Patreon page, the Buy Me Coffee link, where you can, well, buy me coffee, the YouTube thank you button, and of course, there's the Pony Club down below as well. So let's crack on over uh, into this. Uh, with Suella Braverman now denies she is considering defecting to reform. So Suella Braverman has now denied reports that she is considering defecting to reform UK. Gee, I wonder how long that's going to last. I wonder, I wonder how long this is going to last. So remember, we've got that future phone call waiting. So the I quoted sources, both from the Conservatives and Reform, who have said that they expect the former Home Secretary to cross the floor to Nigel's party later this year after the Tory leadership contest. What have we just said? <laughs> what have we just said? Um, a spokesperson for Braverman, uh, who is, is expected to succeed, um, who is expected to run to succeed uh, Sunak as Tory leader, denied this claim saying Suella has only recently been elected as Conservative MP and is, uh, has been a Conservative Party member for over three decades. The newspaper quoted over one senior Tory saying, uh, there is now so much antagonism towards Suella amongst many MPs that there is now a generally held view that she will defect. So <laughs> even her own party thinks she's going to defect, <laughs> which, by the way, would put me back within my prediction numbers of the Conservatives having 120 seats. So, you know, they lose Suella, they go back down by one. Uh, my prediction of of, the Tory, of of how many seats becomes right because they won one extra seat. So do please do that, Sala, because guess what? That makes me right. <laughs> so please do defects. <laughs> you know, I was out by one. <laughs> so defects and make me right again. <laughs> uh, anyway, a Reform UK source said uh, that we expect her to take a tilt at the Tory leadership contest and then come over to us, perhaps even in the autumn around conference time. Uh, again, I, I really do think it will be um, after the Tory leadership contest because obviously she wants to be Tory leader. She wants to lead the Tory party. Um <laughs> She ain't going to get it. She's been losing allies left, right, and center. You know, as you saw there from that, you know, conservative source saying, you know, how, how much antagonism there is. If you don't have the support of the party, you can't be a leader. And bear in mind, this is going to happen to Kimmy Badnock as well. Uh, Badnock does not make friends. She has acted in the past like a complete bull in a china shop and has not made many friends. She's got put many frenemies... And trust me, when she's at the top, people are going to love throwing stones at her. They are going to absolutely love throwing stones at her. And this is not even from the opposition. This is from her own party. Because when she ascends to the top, she's going to have an absolute massive bullseye, um, you know, on the back of her, you know, on the back of her, which many of her own party are going to absolutely love, you know, to, uh, to start, you know, targeting purely for the fact she has not any actual proper friends. This is why we call them frenemies, not her allies or anything like that. How long she will last as leader, I, I can't say, but it could be maybe after, shall we say, a very disastrous, um, you know, local uh, local election result, maybe. Uh, maybe it will be up until the general election, but will she last that long? I, I, I don't know. Uh, I really don't know, but she is far, far more um, abrasive, and I don't think she will go down well, I think, a lot with many uh, of the traditional Tories, but of course, many of the Tories on the right will love her being, quote, honest Kemi, um, but how well that will fly amongst sort of the general sort of UK public and the spot the voting public, that is another question. I don't think that will go down very well at all. Um, so just go back to, of course, some of this um, leadership contest and stuff. So her chances now of winning this contest are thought to be very slim after prominent MPs who backed her back in the 22 leadership contest, including the new Conservative chair, Danny Kruger, and other support supported her candidates. However, on Friday, James Heapley, a former armed forces minister, did tell GB News that a leadership campaign by Braverman 
would be dead on arrival. Uh, I just think she has not played the last two weeks particularly well, and it doesn't feel like there's any uh, traction for her, the XMP said. Yep. Uh, Mr. Ebley said that the money, his money was on James Cleverly becoming the next party leader. Uh, again, I, I don't think Cleverly is going to get it. I, I really don't. Because all they're doing is just electing another Rishi Sunak. Um, he is he is not going to last long. Because you have to, at some point, take on the party behind you. You know, your own party. Cleverly's not going to be able to do that. He has not demonstrated the the killer instinct and the leadership abilities to be able to do that. So once again, likes Rishi Sunak, he'll have a honeymoon period. And then of course, that's when, you know, the naughty spats will start happening, the arguments. Um, and of course he will start to lose support in the party as well. So I like to say, I think though, it's it's going to be Kimmy Badnock. I, I, I really do. She gets the final two, then it's her contest to win. No no doubt. Absolutely no doubt in my mind. Um, but there you go. Let me know what you think down below. But hey, at least at this point, we can probably say Suella is going to be gone. She's probably, you know, going to, you know, jump over to reform, which then means they've got 120 MPs, which for me, you know, I did predict for quite a while. I said they're probably going to be between the low on 80 and the, the top side they will not get more than 120 there are 121 if Suella goes that puts them down to 120 uh so you know please do that <laughs> please do that braver men um <laughs> so uh as always uh thank you very much for watching and of course as always we'll see you all next time